Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on and while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Today we're celebrating. I've been free from self harm for 18 months, which is fucking incredible. I have banged my head against the wall, I haven't cut, I haven't burnt, I haven't pulled my hair out, I haven't scratched myself, and it's a huge fucking deal. I wanted to make this video because I know that so many of you guys are struggling with self-harm, and I want to say that it does get better, but I didn't want to just say it gets better, I wanted to show you that it gets better. I haven't self-harmed in 18 months, that's a long ass time. It's a year and six months and honestly I feel amazing for it. I haven't got to worry about hiding self-harm scars, I haven't got to hide self-harm. I can wear dresses, I can wear skirts, I can wear crop tops, I can wear sleeveless tops now and it feels absolutely amazing. So the last time I self-harmed was last year in hospital I broke apart a razor that I snuck in and I cut my arm. Nothing too severe but I still self-harmed. So I marked that as the start of when I was going to recover. I handed in the blade, they asked how I stuck it in, I said I put it in my bra because I did. Sorry I just, I, sm I smuggle in phone chargers so I can charge my phone in my room and I have to hide it every hour so they can and then they do their checks that it doesn't get noticed. That's what I'm like in hospital. I'm not saying to do that, don't do that, it's bad. Don't follow my in my example. But yeah, I just wanted to share this little milestone with you guys because it's a big fucking deal. Honestly, I'm so grateful that I've made it this far. I have had temptations to order blades off Amazon and have them delivered, but then my question is where do I hide them for when they do room inspections? Yes, somehow they managed to room inspect my packed full room. Don't know how, but they do. But yeah, 18 months self-harm free. That has to feel good. So yeah, I'm having a little I'm proud of myself moment. And I just want to say, if I can do it, then you can do it. I self-harmed since I was seven, till last year, which I was 25. That's most my life. I mean, to be sat here in 26, to in 27, it feels amazing to say that I'm free from them behaviours. Thank you for watching this video, if you're new subscribe and if you didn't know I have a Patreon I'll link it at the end of this video and in the description down below. If you could join my Patreon it would mean the world to me. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.